Hello out there. Uh, hello, dear viewers. It's come to my attention. There's been a lot of talk about this this upcoming Flash movie. Um, a lot of pushback. A lot of criticism that the Flash will erase everything in the DCEU and a whole lot of stuff like that. And I just wanted to give my two cents on it. Uh, first off, I'm driving right now and I'm not able to look at my phone for notes. I'm currently recording this uh, on said phone, so I don't really, I'm not really able to go in depth as to what's happening or uh, look at any articles or what have you. But um, that said, I watched or I looked at enough articles or I've, I think I get the gist of what's going on and please correct me if I'm wrong, um, that a lot of people are actively upset about um, the Flash movie coming up and that it will retcon a lot of stuff out of existence from the DC uh, movies and replace Superman and uh, Batman with female characters. Um, and yes, there will be a Supergirl in the Flash movie. That's already been established. And I'm guessing that there will be a super or a Batgirl movie as well, um, which I honestly don't mind. I think that's a great idea. It'll, because when we had the last Batgirl live action on screen, that was uh, Alicia Silverstone, and that was Batman and Robin, and. I think we've come a long way since then, and I'd like to see uh, whatever the DCEU has to put out for us, or, or uh, show us. Now, I don't know if where these rumors are coming from that they're going to make these the new Batman, the Bat, uh, or the Batgirl, and Supergirl being the new Superman, Batman, or whatever. Um, I think that's ridiculous. I don't always trust Warner Brothers with uh, getting their act together. I mean, they gave us Joss Whedon's Justice League. But on the other side, that made us appreciate, or at least helped me appreciate, the Zack Snyder cut a whole lot better. And... Uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain that they wouldn't actively try and shoot themselves in the foot by doing something quite so stupid. Um, like a good example or good, uh, one thing that comes to mind is when Disney acquired Fox and a lot of people were worried that they toned down Deadpool for the upcoming move for any upcoming installments, but they were, we were given the rest assured, uh, promise. Uh, promise that uh, it will be an R-rated film and take of that what you will the way I look at it is if they give us the R-rated Deadpool that's great if they don't then you can publicly call them out as being liars and manipulators and what have you uh, so if and Ezra Miller himself has stated that he is, uh, that this isn't going to retcon anything out of, or any characters out of the DCEU. And, uh, uh, and I just got to take their word for it. I don't want to come off as that naive person. I'm usually the more cynical person, uh, individual when it comes to these type of films, but I'm willing to give it a chance. I mean, I didn't start hating on uh, Captain Marvel until I saw the movie and just saw how eh it was. Uh, I usually try and give something a chance, whether to prove me wrong or to prove me right in my assumptions. 
and uh, whether I believe that Zack Snyder's uh, DCEU will be canceled, I honestly don't know. Um, I know Warner Brothers wasn't too thrilled about what happened, but I also know that they're no longer really the ones calling the shots. Um, they're not the higher ups, they're, uh, because were that the case, we would never have gotten uh, the Snyder Cut from uh, their parent company, I think it's Comcast. So um, I think that a lot of what's going on is a really, just really overblown. I think a lot of it is ridiculous. But you kind of have to expect that from people nowadays um, that will look at a headline no matter how ludicrous or how or even straightforward it is it's titled being blah 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 and we'll manipulate it somehow in our minds to reading oh it's anti this or it's anti that or it's pro this or pro that and I think that's the type of the world we live in nowadays that we we don't necessarily see we uh, we don't look at things and see what's meant to be, we see what we want them to be. We, we're jumping at shadows here. And, uh, or maybe I'm wrong. And if I am, I'll public, I'll personally say I am wrong. I am wrong about uh, The Flash. I'll be wrong about a lot of other things, but I'm willing to give it a shot. And, uh, assuming I actually have time to go see the movie because I, I have yet to still see the Resident Evil film, Welcome to Raccoon City, uh, Lady of Faith, and Spider-Man Far From, or No Way Home. I have a, quite a few movies I need to catch up on, but, uh, but I digress. This is just my thoughts. I think a lot of this talk about The Flash and it retconning and changing everything from the DC universe is really being blown out of proportion. Uh, I just want I just want to have a good time. I love DC content. I love their characters a whole lot more than I do most Marvel characters. And uh, I I just want to give them a shot. You know, I I just want to have a good time uh, seeing a Flash movie. That is, it'll be interesting. Uh, I want to see Ezra Miller uh, hold his own in one of these films. I thought he was great in the uh, Snyder Cut of Justice League, and I can't wait to see what he can do in his own standalone film. I hear Michael Shannon might be back, so we already know we're going to get Michael Keaton, and they're going to try. He's going to go back in the past. He's going to change something, or maybe it's going to go to a different dimension. I don't know, or a different Earth, because there's always that. Um, there's always been those talks of Grant Gustin appearing in uh, this movie. So, again, I've probably gone on long enough. But what do you think, dear viewers? If I'm missing anything, and I'm, I know I am, uh, please let me know. Please let me, uh, please tell me or fill me in. I, I love to try and stay informed with these type of things. But I also try not to get too caught up, too crazed in it. Uh, I don't want this Flash content to uh, be blown out of proportion like, say, Captain Marvel was, which in retrospect was just borderline mediocre, if not just bland as hell. Not even worth the controversy around it. And if push comes to shove and Flash is great, then all this talk would have been for nothing. And if it was bad, if it turns out to be bad, I'll I'll publicly say, I think it's bad, or I'll say what I need about it. But uh, y'all have a great day, uh, happy new year, and look forward to more content in the future. Uh, take care, bye.